What's up everybody, Sixa here, and today I'm going to bring you another blast from the past. Today I shall be playing X-Men 2 The Clone Wars for the Sega Genesis. I remember this game was a beauty, not only in gameplay, but the fact that developers thought outside the box when every you turn on the game, you automatically start playing. No title screen until you finish the first level. Which, you know, I give them credits for the, uh, the, the mystery behind the game. You know, it made the game a little mysterious, like, oh wow, I, wait a minute, where, where am I? Where do I go? It let you just experiment with the game before you get right into it. Oh, good memories. Let's see. This game came out in 1995. Let's see what happened during 95. Oh, yeah. LJ Simpson was not guilty of murder. The 49ers won the Super Bowl. Oh, yeah. They're, they're on my favorite team for a good while. Especially the whole Steve Young, Jerry Rice combo. Oh, man. Best combo since Shaq and Kobe. Actually, even before that. But you get the point. We're a great dynamic duel. And poor... Poor Selena was shot by some deranged fan. She was a uh, famous singer. Yeah, probably a lot of you heard of her. Great movies during that time. Uh, definitely Toy Story was number one. Batman Forever, Pocahontas, Jumanji, GoldenEye, Die Hard. And of course, for all the Mortal Kombat fans, the Mortal Kombat movie. Oh yeah. We all used to dance to that song, Test Your Might. Man, yeah, sad I forgot who sang that, but that was such a great song. Oh, X-Men. Definitely love the anime series. So hooked on it. Um, you know what was, was, was also oh, I miss? How Fox used to give a crap about uh, kids shows. You know, the, if you watch Fox, they don't... Do, do they even give any children shows? No. Like... Fox Kids died a long time ago. Uh, I would say even before 2000. Um, it's sad because they had some good cartoons back then. Uh, Eat the Cat, like I said, X Men, the uh, bootleg version of Power Rangers, as we call Beetle uh, Beetle Boards. <laughs> yeah, you, you know what I'm talking about. Oh, what was there? Oh, Goosebumps was the shizzle back then. Oh man, that was the one. I, I, I read the book, but I didn't. I wasn't such a literature kid, but I did enjoy reading those. And ever since I remember they they showed the show. Oh man, definitely loved every moment of it. Wish they would play that back, you know, at least once in a while. But I guess good luck with that. Hopefully they have a DVD on sale somewhere. They sell the DVD collection. In fact, there's quite a lot of DVDs they buy from cartoons back in the day. Oh, 95. Quite lots of ups and downs during that time. But yeah. Definitely X-Men, the anime series. This game actually does a good job of replicating the, the mutant powers. For example, Beast has the highest um, jump height out of all the mutants. Uh, Scott has, you know, optic blast. Wolverine has the speed and agility, and he actually recovers health. If you find yourself with low health, if you just want, if you continue without getting hit, you will actually regain like one or two bars of health, even three, depending on your performance. So this game was really well made. It, was, it has mystery, and it was great. I really like this game, but really hard. This. Not like intensely hard, but more like trial and error hard. Where like the first level, it's alright. It's you know, well, okay, well the intro level, should I say, shouldn't give you too much problem. And same for this one, it shouldn't like the first two levels shouldn't give you hard, but after this one, holy cow, there's, there's a lot of trial and error going on. You get to um, I think, I think after this level, you get to chill on Magneto's. Asteroid. Yes, that's that's been that's interesting for Magneto. You know, 
know, he hates the humans so much, he left Earth just to live in an asteroid. To him and his posse. I remember that in the anime series, he had an island. Just a pent up island. I can imagine Magneto having his own MTV Cribs episode. But the one with the asteroid. X-Men! Welcome to die! <laughs> I can just see that. Yes, that's the arcade. Oh, still makes me laugh today. The whole, he's just hearing McNeil say, Welcome to die. In fact, he, I think even when you fight him at, um, on the very last level, when you find him on the ball, he, he's saying some bad jokes and more death jokes. You are dead! Ha ha ha! Just, oh, it was horrible. But there were good times. Uh, right now I am fighting, I'm guessing, the Sentinel Heart. This part was annoying, just hear the noise. No. Oh, the music was great in this game. I, I really like the music. And, you know, I, were, I was hoping that someone would remix like some of these tracks, or just arrange it. It, it sounds great. I would love to hear it arranged. So, it had Tom Notch Gaming, great soundtrack. It, you know, it was hard, but it was okay. You know, there was a learning curve with this game. It's not impossible, it's just trial and error when it comes to this. Oh, jeez. This part. I like how the explosion still goes with the beat. <laughs> yeah, the, the whole lab's gonna explode. You have to plow through this area. Except not really, because of these stupid... The fire. I, I wanted to just um, speed clear it with Wolverine, but no, I remember I, I just Wolverine has a nice um, jump attack pattern where if you uh, he's the best person to do speedruns with because of how fast you can go across the screen. I think I've done to the point where Wolverine will will jump past the even the the, the screen to the point where you go off screen until you finally hit stop. That's how fast you go, Wolverine. You know, I kind of messed up the pattern in, in this gameplay, but it's all good. Oh, 95. 95. Oh, it was. I think I was 9 years old during that time. But yes, definitely quite a lot of cartoons I missed. I pretty much, I used to love Disney back then. Disney was another thing I loved. Uh, Cartoon Network was the shizzle at one point. Too. Even though all I did was uh, show Louis, uh, Louis Tunes and stuff like that, which it's a true classic. You can't, you know. But it was more of a... Cartoon Network was more of a Hanna-Barbera back in the day. Those are the guys that did Flintstones, Jetsons, Top Cat, Yogi Bear, and those guys. Alright, thank you guys for watching and Blast from the Past. This was X-Men 2, The Clone Wars for the Sega Genesis. This is been 6, but as always, good game, peace out.